If you're looking to buy a sports car in 2023 and even beyond, you've probably watched all of these videos about different cars you could buy for under your budget. I know that I did when I was looking for a car, but look no further because this is actually the top 10 sports cars you can get for under 10 grand that you can actually find for under 10 grand. Not like all of those other videos where one of them was listed at one point back in 2007 for $4,000 with no engine that caught on fire. So these cars you can actually get today with less than $10,000. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you the car that I actually got for under 10 grand. Here we go. Honorable mention here first, just because you can't really find these under 10 grand, but if you can, you should definitely get it. It's gonna be the 335i. And I say you can't find them because you want obviously the coupe with the manual transmission, which 90% of the time aren't under 10 grand, but if you can find one, go for it. It comes with a twin turbo inline six making 300 horsepower. You can either get it in rear wheel drive or all wheel drive, but if I were you, I would get the rear wheel drive one just because the all wheel drive had some issues and the power output isn't as good. If you're okay with an automatic and some BMW reliability jokes, that might be it. it, might be the one for you. Just make sure to do your research and do your maintenance on the platform. At number 10, we have another BMW, the E30. Certainly not the fastest car on the list, but if you're looking for one of the best looking cars of all time, here it is. There were 400,000 different engine options, so I can't really tell you what to get, but if you're looking for the best of the best, it's not an M3, obviously, it was the 325i. Coming with the 2.5 liter straight six, making 168 horsepower. It came in a coupe, wagon, sedan, and even a convertible. So whatever you're looking for, you can find it in an E30. E30s are known for having great handling and a good chassis. Obviously the power numbers aren't there, but you can get them there if you want to work on it. If you want a real, real drive, better looking Miata, there it is. Number nine, we have the B5 S4. Yet another twin turbo six cylinder. This one's a V6 and made 265 horsepower. It also came with a V8, but you can only get that one in automatic, so you probably don't want that one. The V6 made great power with just bolt-ons. Just like the BMWs, they can be a little bit unreliable, but Sometimes, sometimes they're great and they go forever. And this one's all time all wheel drive with Audi's famous Quattro system. So not a bad choice and they look great. Number eight, the Mazda Speed 6. Now this is a car you probably haven't even thought of. And guess what? It's another turbo all wheel drive car. The Mazda Speed 6 had a four cylinder turbocharged engine making 274 horsepower. Now this car isn't full time all wheel drive. It's front wheel drive until the front wheels slip, then it will send power to the rear. Or if you push on the throttle all the way It'll be all wheel drive. It's all wheel drive when it matters, okay? That's what's important. They didn't make a ton of them, so parts can be a little bit tough to find. Some simple bolt-ons and a tune, and it can speed you up. Get it? Because Mazda speed, okay, you got it. Number seven is the S60R. Now, if you can't tell by this point, I like all wheel drive cars. You also probably didn't expect a, a Volvo to be on the list, but those of you that know about the S60R know why it is. The S60R came with an inline five turbocharged engine making 300 horsepower. It only came with a six speed manual. So all of you automatic boys can get out of here. All right, this car is a sleeper, absolutely. And it's a Volvo, so you can get, you can convince your mom that it's a good option, even though it's pretty fast. Number five, the 330Ci E46 BMW, often referred to as the baby M3, and that's pretty accurate. It came with an inline six making 230 horsepower to the rear wheels. There's also a ZHP package. If you can find it, that's the one you want. It just came with a couple of race car add-ons. Don't get one of these expecting to make big power without a lot of money into it because the engines, unless you turbocharge them, don't make that much power, but they sound good. And 230 horsepower is not, it's not nothing, okay? But if you want a great looking car that handles well, like, like good, like very well, is for you and for a bmw it's actually pretty reliable bmw does the straight six engine very well number four the rsx type s this one's for all you front wheel drive guys out there the rsx type s came with a naturally aspirated four cylinder making 200 horsepower now this is a k series that's why you need to get the type s so if big power is your thing they can make 500 horsepower all day with a turbo even if big power is not your thing they handle great and at one point we're the best handling front wheel drive car around. It could probably keep up with any of these other cars on the list at the track. And it's a Honda, it's gonna run forever. So it's a great choice. Number three, the 350Z, the iconic best sounding car of all time, if you like trumpets. The 350Z came with a V6 making 300 horsepower to the rear wheels. 
Drift tax has hit these cars very hard, so it's difficult to find one for under, that's reasonably priced in general. Don't buy an automatic with high miles for over five grand. Don't do it, okay? Just don't. But if you hold out, you'll eventually find one that's fairly priced. Get it? Like fair lady Z? Okay, never mind. Speaking of drift cars, they, they're great at it. Even out of the box with no mods. Now they can't make crazy power without taking the engine out and building it, but they handle well, they look great, and they're pretty reliable. It's also got a hatchback, so you can fit all your junk in the back. Number two, the three valve slash any Mustang you can find. Honestly, the Mustang is so popular for a reason. It just works. A big engine and a little car has never gone wrong. Don't quote me on that, okay? Don't, don't look that up either. Even if you're a JDM kind of guy, you can't deny that when you hear that, that big V8, it just, something inside of you just smiles a little bit. The three valve specifically came with a 4.6 liter V8 making 300 horsepower to the rear wheels. Now, you can't get a Coyote for under 10 grand, but the three valve, I think it looks better. Any Mustang with a V8 under 10K, whether it be a first gen, a Fox body, whatever you want, great choice, great choice. And number one, the best car to buy under $10,000 if you're looking for a sports car. The second slash third gen WRX. This is the car that I got, the WRX. The second generation came with a flat four making 225 horsepower to all the wheels all the time. Right now, I just don't think that you can beat the WRX for a fun car under 10 grand. Now, people will try to say the reliability is terrible. And maybe it is, maybe it's not a Honda, maybe it's not a Toyota, but for a car that they've sold so many of, there's gotta be a reason why and they're great cars. I've, you hear a lot about how they blow up and how all of this and all of that, but you w don't hear about when they go well because they just go. People don't even need to talk about it. They're so popular for a reason. Any situation, it's the best choice. Winter, all wheel drive. Four people, you got four doors. Cargo, you got a big trunk too. Turbo noises, got that. Aftermarket support, can't find a better car. And the possibilities are endless for the WRX. You could do, you could stance it, you could do a rally build, you could keep it stock, you could do whatever you wanted. And they make all the parts for it readily available no matter where you are in the world. The third gens are starting to get under 10K, but I think that the second gens look better. I got a Hawkeye, but sue me. All right, that was my list for the top 10 sports cars you could get under 10 grand. If you disagree with me, if I missed something, if I was wrong on anything, you let me know down below. I wanna, I wanna know. If you like videos like this, also let me know. Maybe I'll do more, maybe I won't, we'll see. Subscribe and like the video, please, if you enjoyed, that means a lot. And maybe you wanna find out a little bit more about, about the WRX and the rally team, where it comes from. Check out this video here about the Subaru rally team. Other than that, I've got nothing else and I'll see you in the next video.